With only 12 days left until the solar eclipse, many are finalizing travel plans to go see it. And people all over the country are traveling to what's called the, the path of totality to see the sun 100% blocked. And that's already creating some concerns about traffic. Well, News Channel 15 meteorologist and resident eclipse expert extraordinaire, Hannah Strong, joins us now with more on all this. So tell me about this uh, total eclipse. Sure. Thanks, Brad. Today I met with three Fort Wayne men who will be traveling to see that total eclipse. But with literally hundreds of thousands of people planning to travel for this event, cities in that path of totality, they're bracing for a headache. Departments of transportation all across the country have put out statements advising residents of what will happen. Some areas that will see the heaviest traffic are even altering construction plans and rerouting traffic patterns. So traveling will not be a great idea for everyone. If you plan to stay here, the men I talked to from the Fort Wayne Astronomical Society suggest just enjoying the event. A lot of people spend time trying to actually photograph the eclipse itself, of the sun with its corona. And the reason I'm not going to try and do that is because there will be professionals who will do a professional job of doing that. And speaking of professionals, here are some do's and don'ts from INDOT. Don't take pictures or wear eclipse glasses while driving. Don't stop along the interstate or park on the shoulder. And do turn on your headlights during the eclipse. There's more information about everything surrounding that eclipse in our story on Wayne.com called Total Solar Eclipse 2017. Hannah Strong, News Channel 15.